Breaking news, Insomniac Games announced that Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PlayStation 5 will have an optional, quote, an optional 4K slash 60 frames per second mode. Wow, let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another video. Some breaking news at that. So let's get right into it. But before we do, I'm so excited. Look at me. Can't even talk. <laughs> do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, breaking news. Insomniac Games has come through for the people. The people's cries and the chants have come through. Let's get into it, y'all. Y'all see that? Via a tweet, Insomniac Games announced, this, I'm gonna read the tweet directly, and then we're gonna talk about some of the, already some of the confusion or quote unquote fear mongering I know that's a term people like to use. I'm going to use it today. The fear mongering that's out there. And then we're going to talk about what this truly means. So the announcement is this. Swing through the city like never before on PlayStation 5 with an optional 4K slash 60 frames per second performance mode. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, a lot of people were complaining that hey, Sony, PlayStation, you want us to pay an extra four, five, maybe even $600 for the new console, but you still giving us 4K 30 at best? Like, well, where's the 60 frames per second mode? You talking about all these T-flops, we know you could do a 60 frames per second mode, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't gotta be native 4K. It could be an upscale 1400 or 1800p or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But definitely give us, give us a 60 frames per second mode. That's what we want. We want to see more games in 60 frames per second. We understand because of the Jaguar bottleneck last gen, it wasn't so possible. But right now we ain't trying to hear them excuses. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like that after maybe some damage control from Sony about why their games are 30 frames per second because of the cinematic appeal or whatever the case may be. It looks like that they finally realized, look, man, we got to do right by the gamers. So it appears that Insomniac Games is breaking through the mold first. They announced that there's going to be the optional 4K slash um, 60 frames per second performance mode. All right. So again, let's get into the fear mongering and the apprehension. So already... Those that feel like that they got to get into the console battle against Sony. They come out here and they say, well, first and foremost, it's not going to be native 4K, 60 frames per second. And to this, I say, and to that, I say this. Who cares? Who cares? Like, we got to get over this whole native 4K thing. Because the thing about it is, 4k is resolution it doesn't speak to graphics it just tells you how sharper the image is going to be digital foundry first and then phil spencer secondly got you all overhyped about resolution okay they made black grass gator thing where they was talking about blaze of grass they said 1080p 60 made you so much of a better gamer Excuse me. And then Phil Spencer said, well, I'm going to pick up on the mantra. I'm going to make it better. And he made you feel like that the native 4K or the more 4 k -er options that came with the Xbox One X were going to change the game. And ever since, really, quite honestly, ever since the Xbox One X release, after that initial month, Xbox consoles sold even worse. <laughs> They were decimated in NPDs, and the gap got even wider. So don't fall for that okie doke. This is newer hardware, more capable hardware, more proficient, efficient T-flops, 
Bibble Watts, whatever the case may be. You're gonna get better looking graphics, you're gonna get better looking visuals, and you're gonna get better looking performance. So let's just say that the performance mode is an 1800p upscaled performance mode to 60 frames per second. Who cares? Now on to the second thing where people are like, oh my goodness, this is only going to be 1080p. I doubt that. I heavily doubt that. I could be wrong. <coughs> but again, to my final point, excuse me. The final point is that people were asking for 60 frames per second. People even asking for 60 frames per second said, look, even if you can't do 4K 60 natively, we want a 60, we want performance modes. We want 60 frames per second. And the way these this hardware is gonna work, they can do 1400p, 1800p upscale and have a native 4K 30 frames per second mode. I think that'll make everybody happy. So at the end of the day, this is a win for Sony because the gamers spoke up and they answered. They answered. There's nothing short of a W. Whether it's 1400p, 1800p, whatever the case may be, it's gonna look amazing on the system. And for those that wanna have the cinematic native 4K, it'll be available for them too, okay? So it's a great thing. And, and this is a testament to when you don't just settle when you speak up as a gamer base and you don't just settle, they will listen. If you speak up loud enough, it's as simple as that. So with that said, great job for Sony, great job Insomniac, and that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to find me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, Great news. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.